Okay, folks, here's a quick review of the R2-D2 figure that was produced by Hasbro as part of the Star Wars Movie Legends line of products. I picked this up during a recent Toys R Us buy one get one free sale for $9.99. When I first got the figure out of the blister pack, I liked the figure's overall appearance. Um, I think this is a nice representation of R2-D2 from the Star Wars films. As I looked at the figure more closely, my initial pleasure turned into somewhat of a disappointment. Um, this figure has close to no articulation at all. Uh, the only parts that move on this figure are the legs. The third leg is not retractable whatsoever, and that's understandable as the figure is electronic. The head on the figure doesn't move, and it is aimed off-center, which I think is an odd position to constantly be in, and it appears that there's a hole in the center of his head. So perhaps Hasbro reused the uh, figure's mold from the Vintage Collection R2-D2, which I believe included a mountable serving tray. Alright, uh, this figure does have an interesting feature on it. Uh, as I mentioned, it is electronic. And what you do is you can press the center plate on this figure, uh, which is located right in there. And what it does is it makes different sounds, and the center eye lights up uh, in sync with the noises. And I'll demonstrate the uh, feature on it in just a moment. And also of note, the sounds aren't always the same, and the sequences are chosen completely at random. It doesn't appear that the batteries can be replaced when they wear out, so if I'm wrong about that, uh, please feel free to correct me in the comment section below. Alright, R2-D2 came with the figure stand that you see beside him, but no other accessories. Uh, I don't understand why Hasbro chose to include a figure stand in this figure's packaging, as the feet don't have any holes. But, no matter, um, I, I can always use the stand for another Star Wars figure if need be. Alright, let me slide the figure stand out of the way. Let's get R2, right like that. And what I'll do now is zoom in and give you a closer look as to what the figure looks like. So as you can see, it is a nice representation of R2. I will give it that. All right, and now what I'll do is I'll demonstrate the uh, sound feature of the figure. And as I said a moment ago, all you have to do is press the plate in the middle of the figure's chest and you'll get the lights and sound. So here we go. Okay. There's another one. Another one. Okay, here's another one. Oh, come on. All right, one more. So as you can see, um, the sound sequences are chosen completely at random. All right, what I'll do now is a quick 360 of uh, R2 and let you see what he looks like from all sides. So here he is from the front, from the left, here he is from the rear, From the right hand side, and finally here we are once again from the front. So overall, this is a figure that I think is, it's just okay. It's, it's a good likeness of R2, and it makes for somewhat of a decent display piece, but I, I'm just not fond of his head being aimed off center like this. Um, the sound feature is a neat gimmick, but I'll be honest with you, I'm not happy about uh, not being able to replace the batteries in this figure when they eventually die out. But on a personal note, I will say I am glad I got this figure for free uh, in that Toys R Us sale, as I, I just don't think that it's worth uh, that $8 to $10 price range. So therefore, I'm just, I can only give this figure just a fair recommendation. Just very fair. 
And that's about it. Okay, so on that note, take care and stay tuned for my next review. Have a good one.